more. And this beautiful Melissa came. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. This is going to be a week in my life in New York City. You already know the vibes. I've had the most lovely day, honestly, just getting my life together, getting groceries done, working out, cleaning, going through my to-do list. And now it's like five o'clock and I showered. I got ready for the day because I'm going to dinner with Katie and Brooke tonight. I'm so excited. We're having like our monthly deep dive dinner, but I'm so hungry. So I'm having a snack. I have to shout this thing out. It's from Amazon and my friend Keaton posted about it how ideal is this <laughs> for my turkey cheese roll-ups you've got your turkey slices and your cheese slices it's good for like if you have deli meats or whatever it may be so i am having a good old snack i just feel so put together when my refrigerator is full of produce and goods and i'm just so happy so i'm making a little mm, turkey cheese roll-up right here i have a call in like 30 minutes Mm, oh God. Also, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for the support on my Electric Picks collaboration. I can't believe I came out with my own jewelry collection with them. This has just been a whirlwind of a time and I'm so, so grateful for this opportunity. So I'll have the link down below for you guys to shop the collection, but it's on Electric Picks. And these are the Montauk earrings. I'm wearing them today. They're little starfish, so perfect for summer. Like I feel like these are gonna be the earrings of the summer, at least for me. And then we have the It Girl necklace, the Avenue necklace, the Carolyn necklace, it's a little four leaf clover and a horseshoe. And then the Danielle bangle, which is just a staple. Like you won't ever take this off. And then I also have the Finley earrings, which you guys have seen me wear a lot. So also if you didn't already see the promo video that we did, go to my Instagram. It was so fun. We did it at a hotel, very like hotel concierge turns into, or like basically the idea was I was a hotel concierge and I kind of sneak into one of the hotel rooms, put on all the jewelry and I'm then I leave as a guest and I feel so bougie in my new jewels. So it was so fun and I'm so grateful to like to pick. So I did want to shout them out, but it was just so fun and I wanted to bring attention to it again because you can shop the collection on what your picks. So definitely go check it out. Let me know what y'all's favorite pieces are down below. We also have a giveaway going on on my Instagram with electric picks. Five of you guys are winning a PR box, like the ones I'm sending to my influencer friends. So I think that'll be really fun too. This is the outfit I've got going on for today. I have to vibe check with Katie and Brooke to make sure we're on the same vibe. Like if they wanna go casual, I can totally dress down. I was just in the mood to dress up. This is one of my favorite outfits. I literally wore it last summer a lot. It's just so good, so put together. This is a little puffy sleeve top from Abercrombie. I'll link it below if it's still available. If not, I'll link something similar, but it, oh, it cinches, it puffs, it's so good. It's perfect for all my necklaces. And then these are the Abercrombie Curve Love um, like trouser pants and I literally need them in every color because they're so good and the curve love ones are so nice because they don't like make the weird line right here We're very grateful for that I'm about to hop on a call with my manager. We do these like hour-long phone calls a couple times a year I'm just so grateful to her because she is so willing to always bounce off ideas with me and she's truly a huge cheerleader for me and I'm very grateful for that. I also want to say thank you guys so much because in one of my last few videos I kind of broke down because I was so sad um, that my uh, therapist was retiring and you guys were just so sweet about it and just appreciated me being real, which it was really nice because it's not always fun when you cry on camera and you're kind of like, should I cut that out? But I did want to say thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I think therapy can benefit and will benefit absolutely anyone, especially if you have any sort of inkling that you want to try it out, I highly suggest it. I was super on the fence in high school. I was going through just all kinds of different life changes. My parents were getting a divorce. I was trying to decide where to go to college. I was trying to decide who to talk to, what to. And my mom was like, you should go to therapy. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. And thank goodness for that because I was with my therapist for so, so, so many years. And she taught me so many just positive coping skills for if I'm in a situation where I'm feeling a little panicky, you know, what I'm gonna pull for or what I'm gonna do to kind of help calm myself down. Or it's just nice to have someone that's not involved in your life at all. And you can just have like a weekly gossip sesh. Whatever you need to use that 
hour, hour and a half for you can do. And BetterHelp makes it so easy because I feel like a lot of my friends, I was just talking to one of my friends the other day who used BetterHelp to find her therapist because she didn't know, she doesn't want to go anywhere. She's very busy with work and she was like, I didn't know what to do. So she literally went on BetterHelp and it's so easy. You get matched with a licensed therapist. And if you don't like your therapist, you can get a new one, no additional charge. It's just very for you and it's supposed to be something that's good for you. So it shouldn't be something scary. And that's why I like it. Cause you don't have to go in person. Like I was talking to my therapist and she was like, maybe you can try someone in person. And I was like, no, I will be finding mine online. Thanks. So like, I just, I just know with my schedule, I won't do it. And I think self-awareness is key. So what you're going to do now, if you're interested is go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn, and you're going to fill out a brief questionnaire to help them match you with a professional therapist that has years of experience to talk to you for about whatever you want to talk about. Like I said, you can do it via video, you can do on the phone, or you can even just do messaging if that's your jam. And if you want to get 10% off your first month, you can go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn to get that. Or when you sign up, just click my name to get that extra discount. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I am very grateful and I just love being able to share the idea of therapy with you guys because it's so important. So I'm going to hop on the phone with my manager now and catch up with her. I'm probably going to get off feeling very motivated. That's typically what happens when I chat with her. Um, I've got my notepad ready, AKA my notes app because I hate handwriting, even though I do handwrite my planner every single day. Like I do that, but everything else I hate to do. Um, so I can cross some things off, but call is over. It went really well. And now I'm going to head over to Ruby's in the East village. I'm going to walk there. Actually, I'm feeling crazy. I'm meeting up with Brooke and Katie. Like I said, we're having our monthly like deep dive dinner and i'm so excited to see them and brooke's about to go to italy so i want to make sure to like see her before she leaves so i just changed some jeans sweater from j crew bag and my walking shoes let's go eat some good food and eat pasta. This is like this is this is like this is this has never happened. I was like, oh that girl. She like I like her little outfit over there. The white me. No and baggy jeans. How do you feel to match me right now? Katie's gonna die. No, this is like too. It's too much. I went in. I was like, wait, where are they? Katie's wearing stripes. You were filming a video with your mom. Yeah, now today we're matching. Yeah. And you're right. am uncovered the short form series that I have on Instagram and TikTok where I uncover people's morning routines. I'm so excited today. I'm going over to my friend Camille's house or her apartment. Um, she is an amazing model. We actually grew, we both grew up in Tampa and I knew her back in high school and then she moved here and she is truly crushing it. Like you have seen her face on Revolve, Urban Outfitters, Walmart, like I see her face everywhere, Lululemon, like ever. Um, and I'm so excited to see her model morning routine. Very proud of my outfit today. I wanted to do a slick back because my hair is dirty, honestly. So I'm wearing this top from Norma Kamali. It's so good. I'm wearing one of my Ebby bras underneath and I just love how it looks. Oh, I haven't even like, I have to raise this again because I was doing my makeup. But I love it because it's like a turtleneck, but it's like short sleeve. And then these pants are Abercrombie. I'm trying to decide though what belt route I want to get to do because it is daytime and this is kind of like chic spring i love the contrast of the black and white i think it's very very chic or we could go black let me just see how this looks all the way boom i mean the black obviously looks so good but i feel like this looks good 
two, but I think it also depends what shoes I wear. Hold on. So we have two pairs of shoes here because you guys know I like to outfit sandwich. I like things to match. So these match pretty well. So I think if I did this belt, I would do these shoes. If I did this belt, I would do these shoes. I know this matches more, but it's like daytime. But I feel like she's gonna go for a model off duty look, which will probably be black and white or like black and denim or something. Okay, well, I'm gonna think on that. I'm gonna add the Danielle bangle, which is part of my collaboration with Electric Picks. I love it so much. It's just like, boom, okay. There's my piece of jewelry. There's my accessory on my wrist. It's just so easy and it clasps and it stays on because it's got the hook closure. No necklaces because it will give Steve Jobs. And then we're gonna do the Finley earrings because obviously I need to slick back my hair even more. It's always just so hard to get it slicked in the back. Like baby hair simply will fall. Camille lives in Fidei, which I'm excited about because I don't go to Fidei a lot, but when I do, like I've almost moved to Fidei a few times. I decided I'm not gonna move there ever, but I do love it. So I'm excited to kind of be around the area. Um, oh my God, I just love these earrings so much. You can go buy them on Electric Picks. So good. Okay, I have to decide right now. Oh my God, this is the hardest decision because they both look so good for different reasons. Uh, the black is just stronger though. All right. <laughs> Thanks for coming along. Yes, yeah, so today we're filming AM Uncovered. I just posted a new episode of AM Uncovered this morning. I love Tuesday mornings now because I post AM Uncovered. I used to hate Tuesdays. I mean, I still don't love Tuesdays because I actually don't mind a Monday. I think, I'm, oh yeah, that, that definitely, that definitely looks really good. I need to put a lip on, but where am I going with this? AM Uncovered with Camille. Then I got ingredients yesterday to make a tomato cucumber salad. So I wanna come back and make that. But I also could see myself wanting to walk around Fide a little bit after we record, cause I'll be over there. But I'll try and come back here and we'll do that. And then I actually, I'm getting my nails done. They are four weeks. Usually I do every three weeks. You see how grown they are? I think I'm gonna go for like a butter yellow color with chrome, cause I always do chrome. Cause I'm obsessed. Um, dinner with Ryan tonight. While I have you guys, let's just do the full accessorization. I'm gonna add a lip color. What color is this? No, not that one. We'll do the Estee Lauder one. I like this one because it has a brush on the other end. Ooh, it is not sharpened. Do I have a lipstick? Got Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I'm gonna do a lipstick. I need to get more of this. It's almost out. It's just a nice pinky nude color. I'm like sweating all of a sudden. And then over top, I'm going to add this Dr. Dennis Gross plumper. I want my lips to be plump. And it's just like a nice clear gloss over top. Very pretty. Um, we'll go with these sunglasses, Orium. Yeah. And then to top it all off, I've got this bag from Freja, New York. Freja, Freja. F-R-E-J-A is how it's spelled. I love this bag. It's so cute. And it fits a good bit. So yeah, that's the, that's the accessories. I'm just gonna take a little bit more hair gel and put that on my hair. And then we're gonna be out the door and we're in chic mode right now. Yeah, I'm excited. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's apparently a high of 70, so I'm not complaining. She is just the coolest human being. I can't wait for you guys to see this episode. I'm just obsessed with her and we had so much fun. And now we're back and we're gonna make the tomato cucumber salad. So um, I just like love when I go to Mediterranean restaurants and they offer a salad that it's literally just tomatoes, cucumbers, and like some red onions. So we've got red onions. And I actually just went for these tomatoes. I am just now realizing why didn't I buy real tomatoes, like fake tomatoes, but I was in panic mode. Where are my cucumbers though? I guess I left them out. It's kind of weird to me. I'm gonna chop up cucumbers, tomatoes, red onions, and then you can dress it however you want. I think I'm gonna do a little red wine vinegar and like salt and pepper, a little olive oil. Or like I have, I have like the Good Seasons Italian, or yeah, I think it's like Italian dressing. So I could use this, which would be really good on it, but it doesn't need much. So I'm gonna decide, but I'm just gonna chop all this up and kind of let the dressing soak and then take a shower because 
it's time I wash my hair, um, which means I'm gonna take all this makeup off, but that's what we're gonna do. Put the salad in the fridge just for a little so it got nice and chilly. It smells good. I sure do hope it's good. Okay, let's do a taste test here. I think the tomato was the problem. I should have cut up real tomatoes because these tomatoes are a little sweet. Yeah, it's just the tomatoes are a little sweeter, but it's good. And I will be continuing it. I almost want to add more onion or more vinaigrette. But this is so refreshing and so good. Showered, redid my makeup blue dry my hair. Then I panic booked a haircut for tomorrow because the ends are looking so just not it. My hair is definitely growing. Like I think the Nutrafol, the Bondi Boost, the scalp serum from Divi. Divi is all really helping, but like, I feel like I just need to, I don't want to cut my hair really short or anything, but I just feel like we need to trim the ends. I feel like that's appropriate. So I'm going to go get a haircut tomorrow. I'm so glad they had something available, but I'm gonna go get my nails done now. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a butter yellow color with chrome on top. I have on the Montauk earrings from my collection, the Avenue necklace, the Danielle bangle. Um, and then I'm just wearing this like cuts tee and then my rag and bone sweatpants jeans, some sneakers. I'm gonna go sunglasses as a headband. These are literally from Amazon. And then another striped sweater. This one's from Zara. I'm gonna throw this over. And you might be wondering, why are you all dressed up to get your nails done? Cause I am definitely not usually dressed up to get my nails done. Not that I'm super dressed up, but this is, Mickey's gonna be like, why are you cute today? Um, bag is pulling. Uh, Ryan and I are going on a date after, where I'm gonna meet him, I think at City Vineyard, which is close to Tribeca, it's on the West Side Highway, and it's just the most beautiful day, and I feel like it'll be such a lovely sunset, dinner, happy hour moment. So we're gonna meet, I think I'm gonna go from my nail appointment to meet him at City Vineyard. So I just wanted to feel kind of cute. So that's why I kind of want a little nautical because City Vineyard's on the water and I just thought that would be nice. So we're gonna go get our nails done though. I'm gonna be there for like two hours. So I'm just mentally preparing, but she always plays TV and good shows, but yeah, come along. I was just in the most traffic ever, like seriously so long. Now it's raining. So there's literally no point. And Ryan just texted me that they're only serving pizza right now. I was like, can you order the Kung Pao cauliflower? And he's like, they're only doing pizza and charcuterie board right now. I'm like, this was supposed to be a cute sunset evening. And it's just not that. Well, you guys, here we are, but I think we're gonna leave, but he looks so nice. The menu is literally non-existent. They're, there's a private event downstairs, so they're not doing any of this. So we're gonna have to find somewhere else, but it's also pouring rain and we don't have umbrellas. So I'm just a little cranky, but it's fine. I'm here with Ryan and that's all that matters. We've ended up at a Mexican restaurant in Tribeca and actually I like the vibes, I'm happy. This is my kind of restaurant, you guys. Upon arrival, they brought us chips and salsa. Like, it's like they knew we were starving. Ryan had to get the fajitas. You guys know the fajita effect? <laughs> okay, we're trying crumble cookies. I'm so excited. Wait, let's see what this week's flavors are before we go in. French toast, wedding cake, chocolate, I'm in. I wanna try this. They're out of French toast. I wanna try that. Um, okay, we're back. And we're gonna try, what are you trying right now? Guys, these cookies are ginormous. Mm. Peanut butter chocolate. I can smell the peanut butter. Okay, I'm gonna try the chocolate chunk. That's your big chocolate chips. I know, I kind of love it. That's a solid chocolate chip. That's pretty good. These are, again, these cookies, guys. Did you try the wedding cake or do you not have interest? We're good to go. I already tried the wedding cake, you guys. And it literally tastes like wedding cake. This is what it looks like. And it's really cool, you like order and then they, like you order on an iPad 
and they just keep like putting them in boxes in the back. But like, I like it because she put the icing on fresh. Mm. I'm not a big dessert person, but I love a good like birthday cake, wedding cake, cookie cake, or cookies or cupcakes. Other than that, that's it. That really is good. Good morning, everybody. I've just started doing my makeup. I always struggle doing my makeup when I don't have a self tan because I feel like none of my stuff matches. So I'm just lightly applying some things with my fingers. I'm going for a natural look today. I am going to get a haircut. Thank God. I go to Rulon Salon on the Lower East Side and I don't think I'm doing anything crazy. I'm just going to, to trim the split ends, the dead ends, whatever you want to call them. Um, but a part of me, oh, my dentist is calling me. I literally still go to the dentist in Florida because I have dentist trauma from going to a dentist in New York. So there's so many great ones here. I just was like, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta stick to your roots, I guess. I love sneezing. Yeah, so getting a haircut and then I'm popping over to this event for TWP, which is a great designer. Um, I have a couple of her pieces, uh, very, like basics. Like I have a pair of black trousers and then I also have like a white button down. So I'm gonna wear one of those pieces, I think. Um, but they're doing an event, I think in Soho, like in collaboration with Modop Brandy. And I have some friends that will be there. So I'm just gonna pop by because Obviously, that's the best when you get a haircut and you have your blowout and you're like, now I have to show this off somewhere. <laughs> Getting, but like, not really. So I'll have somewhere to go with my swanky haircut. And we'll come back and get some work done. And then I'm getting a spray tan later because tomorrow I am going to the Sports Illustrated party. Yeah, so I'm getting full glam for that tomorrow because I just want to feel cute. I'm going to put the extensions in. I want to do like wet waves. We'll get into that tomorrow. And then Friday, I have the Morgan Wallen concert at MetLife Stadium. Um, obviously, you guys probably like you just saw him at Stagecoach. Correct. Yes, I did. However, I've had these tickets since last year. Um, me and Katie Bellotti bought them to see him around this time last year. And then he had to cancel slash reschedule. So they just rescheduled our tickets for one year later basically so katie and i were talking like a month or two ago we we're like oh i think we have tickets coming up so i went checked my ticket master and indeed we do so i'm going to morgan wallen on friday which will be fun so fun weekend ahead going on a really cool boat party on saturday so i might vlog this weekend i don't know like when this vlog's gonna end when the next one's gonna start but Summer in the city, baby, even though it's freaking raining, we will prevail. All right, I'm going to continue to drink my LaCroix and listen to a podcast. Okay, I'm so happy with this outfit. It's so crazy. This is capsule wardrobe vibes where you have just a few basics. This top and bottom are from that brand TWP. And I was like, how can I make this a moment? Obviously my hair will be down and like look better, but I'm just putting it in a ponytail before I go get my hair cut. I added this belt from Oriam, this bag from Freyha, New York. I really like it. Um, the Danielle bangle from my Electric Picks collab. Also the Finley earrings, these Oriam sunglasses. And then I outfit sandwiched, of course, with these white slingback heels that are so comfortable. They're very short from Sam Edelman. I'm kind of showing a little tummy, a little moment, but I feel like this outfit's kind of giving it girl and I can't wait to have my hair done with this. Um, I just realized I'm gonna need an umbrella. But, the blowout slayed. She uses like all these round brushes. It's iconic. I feel like Matilda Jerf. Gonna get a quick table for one lunch. Not really sure where. I really want to go to Le Pan Quaridon, but it's pretty far. And I need to stay over here in Soho because that's where this event is. But it's like kind of raining, it's kind of not. It's like that really annoying type. Overall, I'm just not sure what to do. Uh, Table for one moment at St. Ambrose. I'm sitting outside, I feel so chic right now. I saw on the menu they have soup and that's really what I want right now. That's exactly what I want, I want pea soup.
guys. <laughs> Hello from my walking pad. I never made it to Pilates this morning. So I am walking right now in my slippers. I just showered, I got back from all the stuff I was at today. It was really fun and I took a shower, scrubbed any bit of tan that was on me, which I don't think so because I haven't gotten a spray tan or put on self tan in like almost two weeks now. I'm getting a spray tan because as you guys know, I keep complaining that I wish I was tan. So <laughs> might as well get a spray tan because I have a ton of events this week, like I was telling you guys. So I'm just walking until she gets here. That's my goal. I definitely shouldn't be walking in my slippers. I should be walking in my sneakers because I have foot inserts and I probably shouldn't have my hair up because I got a haircut today. Um, oh my God, it's crazy now. She doesn't unreal blow out though. Yeah, she was like, I don't want to traumatize you. So I'm just gonna cut off the bare minimum, but like at the end of the summer, you should come back and do like a proper trim. And I was like, all right. Cause my hair was pretty dead, honestly. I don't know why, I feel like I take good care of it, but I do use a lot of heat. So something to keep in mind, oh my God. I love this walking pad. People always ask me about it. This is the Katie Austin one. She's one of my friends. She's also in Sports Illustrated, shout out to her. But yeah, I like it. There's also a thing that you can pull up um, like a little thing you can hold right here and you can put your phone on it if you do like treadmill classes or anything um, This can go up to speed. I think 10 like you can run on it, but I'm not really a runner I'm not a track star. So I'd be walking and it feels good because honestly I just ate a one full crumble cookie and I'm feeling really full like those cookies are Massive, but it really tasted so good. I'm about to start my period. Like, let me be. <laughs> this should be like a segment in my vlogs. Walk and talk. Literally walk and talk. Why do I kind of like this actually? Better yet, I'm gonna really maximize my time on here. And we're gonna do red light face mask while walking. I mean, productivity, right? Spray tan is done. I have on my spray tan sweat set. I literally wear this every time. It's my friend Peyton Sarton's merch. It's the best. I just got a delivery from Pickle. Pickle is a clothing rental app that is like peer to peer. And I wanted a really stunning, I needed like a gold clutch for tomorrow night for the Sports Illustrated party. So I saw this one and it looks stunning. It's Colt Gaia. It goes perfectly. I can't wait to show you guys my outfit tomorrow okay it looked a little bigger online i thought i'd be able to fit my phone because that's the thing like with these tiny purses then you can't even fit your freaking phone let me see if this will fit maybe i can or maybe i could at least fit my camera if i bring my g7x darn i really thought it'd fit my phone that's okay it'll fit my wallet and stuff it's it's fairly big i'll just have to hold my phone it's worth it it's so pretty unless i my phone is just ginormous <laughs> yeah no like it fits, but it can't close. But I also have a crossbody strap, but I think it looks so good just holding it like that. I love how, I love the movement truly. So very excited about that rental. Just got the dishwasher going and now I'm gonna make some hot mint tea. But a part of me really wants decaf coffee. Now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the mint tea. It's also good for my tummy. Peppermint hot tea. I just have a lot of emails to do. So that's why I'm like, or just computer work in general. And coffee just like makes me feel productive. But I still do get a little caffeine buzz from decaf. And I wanna be able to go to sleep semi early tonight. Got the workstation here. Gonna put on some soft, chill lounge music and get to it. <laughs> showered off my spray tan um i had kind of a weird night i have this rule with myself and i really need to stick to it that i stop doing computer work no later than 9 p.m because if i stay on my computer later than that like on my couch i get so wound up and i swear the blue light affects me everything and then i can't fall asleep i get anxious and wound up like i said so last night I broke my rule and also I'm about to start my period and whenever that happens, like the week leading up to it, the, the few days leading up to it, I'm so anxious. And it's nice to know that 
that's why because my then my anxiety goes other places i'm like oh my god something's wrong with me and then i'm like oh no it always happens around this time right before i get my period so it feels good to know that that's why um but it's so frustrating because i like went to bed early last night i was gonna go to like 7 30 pilates this morning and i was really excited about it i was proud of myself for getting into bed early and like just as i was about to fall asleep i'm just like <gasps> I'm anxious, like, I don't know how it happened. It was so weird and I was just tossing and turning. I could not fall asleep. I was just like, I couldn't get a deep breath in. But yeah, at mornings after that, I like, it's not like I feel hungover, I just feel like weird. Um, so with that, I need to take out my planner and journal and write. Um, yesterday was actually the last day of this planner. This is the planner I designed with Doing Well Daily. This is my second one. First one I made in college with her and then I made like a post-grad Danielle in the city one. It's my little black book, no, I'm kidding. Today's quote is, you are what you do every day. Amen. So I'm gonna go through this, it's needed. I'm gonna listen to some peaceful music and write like my affirmations, goals for the day, wellness, how I'm gonna nourish myself. Is this in focus? I feel like no. And then I'll like write what I'm doing today, but this always helps me in the morning. If I wake up feeling overwhelmed or anything, I just get right to it. And just thought I'd give you guys a little insight into my night and the mind is so crazy sometimes and cheers. <laughs> it's time to pick out another outfit. So here's my base. I figured since I have a spray tan, might as well wear some shorts. These are from Abercrombie. I got them on the Abercrombie shorts sale. They are the Curve Love tailored shorts. Obsessed. I need to get them in the white color now too. This is in a gold day tank top. Jerf Avenue blazer. I've had the gray one forever and I just got this one. And then here we are again. I'm trying to decide if I want to belt it to tie it all in. Or if it's better, just not. I'm gonna belt it and then see. But um, did I tell you guys what I'm doing today? I don't even know. I am going to film another episode of AM Uncovered because, well, I'm going to Florida next week, half of next week. So I wanted to have a couple episodes down pat. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to film it with Eli Rallo, who's one of my good friends on social media, I'm wearing the Finley earrings. She's also known as The Jar on TikTok, Eli Rallo. She's an author, she's a content creator, she's just an amazing person, she's so funny, very motivational, and I'm so excited to see her space and just kind of get a better look into her morning routine. So we're gonna head over to her place and film that. Her apartment looks so nice, it looks like it's on the water of sorts. Yeah, I think the belt kind of pulls it together. You guys know I love to pull things together. Maybe I'll do the Carolyn necklace. And then low key, I wanna wear loafers. But like, is that crazy of me today? I have this pair of coach loafers um, that I've been wanting to wear. I have a pair of Sam Adel, or no, I think they're Jeffrey Campbell loafers, but they're backless and you guys made sure to tell me you don't like them. Not that I'm not gonna wear them, but I get it. The back list is kind of freaky at times. I can't lie, I went on Pinterest this morning and I was like, all right, give me some inspo. Ooh, little tight. Oh, because I have foot inserts in them. These are not the most comfortable, but it looks so cute. Oh my God, maybe I need to just break them in and just, I think I need to just do it. Like this is so freaking cute. I feel like a little Pinterest girly is it raining wait someone's holding an umbrella but the forecast is not showing okay well anyways here's the fit i'm very proud of this okay guys i'm back now and um just kind of winded down set out my two potential outfits for tonight they're both very, very similar. This one is from Baobab. It's a set. And this was a dress from Christopher Esber that I rented on Pickle as well. And then obviously I showed you guys the clutch. So I just wanted to lay that all out in my robe. Kat is here setting up about to do makeup. I'm very, very, very excited. Guys, she did so well. She did, you did a good job, A plus. Oh, Literally has never not. But I'm just so obsessed with telling her I have it. Oh my God, my body glow is glowing. It's so good, right? It's like a lotion. It's like sexy. It's sexy glow, Sports Illustrated. I wanted to do liner today and I'm like so obsessed. Thank you. Now the most important like, part. is taking the glam photo. 
Whoa! Starting off strong. Kat goes, we're so back. Because I haven't like gotten glam in a while. I'm like, we're since electric picks. Yes! Oh my god, since the shoot for the now drawer we talk about it. Now we can talk about it. Oh my god, that was gorgeous too. I never know if, okay, I never know if my chin, like, photographers always tell me my chin down, so I try to be better about that. And then you can't see the eye. I know. Okay guys, Jackie's here. We're about to do hair. Yay. She's setting up. I love when you set up. It's so satisfying. You've got all your things. We're doing like some beachy kind of wet looking waves. We're not doing full wet, like full oil because I'm like scared. But this will be a good intro and then next yes. time we'll do wet waves. But I'm so obsessed with my makeup. I can't wait to see the look fully come together. It's gonna be so fun. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. She put like a little oil in it. Did I mean she did all kinds of things? I don't even know. But my Luxie hair extensions are in. I'm like literally so obsessed. Like I wanted like beachy mermaid vibes, and you crushed it, Jackie. Yeah. So thank you. So now I have two different dress options, like I was telling you guys. And I'm trying to decide. So I have this, which is this set from Baobab, and I can either wear it in the front or I can wear it to the side, but I'm gonna try on the dress too, which is very similar, but different. Hey guys, and here is the other one. This is a Christopher Esver dress that I rented from Pickle, but I think me and Jackie decided I'm gonna do the other one. Cause it has like two different materials and it just looks a little more, it's got a little more something to it. So, but this one's a great, I mean, they're so similar. So I feel like either one, it's like a good call, but then obviously I'll wear some black heels. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is so exciting. One thing about Jackie, she loves her hairspray. And she's like, no, one more spritz. <laughs> and I love that. The attention to detail, it's so kind always. I think I'm gonna go with this. I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave it in the front or the side. I feel more comfortable within the front because like everything's in place, but to the side, it looks so fun too. Did you decide what your favorite is, Jackie? Front or the side? Front. Oh, fabulous. You know, you can dress change later, or switch it up. No, yeah, she was like, people. I could just go in the bathroom and switch it to the side and it's the after party <laughs> So, I don't know, honestly guys, I might have a drink. I'm a little nervous because there's gonna be so many like literal supermodels there. Yeah. Hence why I had to get glam. I just put on my electric picks hand chain. How chic and fun is this? I have to get used to wearing it though because I keep thinking it's gonna fall off, but like it won't because it's on you, but it just kind of moves. And then I've got the Danielle bangle on and I'm wearing the Montauk earrings because we're going like beachy mermaid. I'm so obsessed. I like want my hair to last like this all weekend. <laughs> I've tried to sleep in my extensions before and it just, it, you're just in pain the next day. It looks fine, yeah, but. Yeah. Okay, we're all ready to go. It's definitely gonna be one of those dresses that I'm like pulling out a lot, but it's so cute. I just need to like enjoy it. I think I showed you all the accessories. I'm like so obsessed with this hand chain and I put the bangle on this wrist instead. I think it looks nice. Got the clutch, of course. Doesn't fit my phone, but that's fine. Is this the, I didn't even look in the mirror if this looks right. Yeah. Honestly, a black bag could have been fine too, but it's fun to have a little pop of gold. Um, I'm going over to my friend Cassidy's apartment. We're gonna take photos there. Um, and then we're gonna go to the red carpet and I'm nervous and I hope I get to walk it cause last year I didn't. Cause like when I got there, the models were getting there and it's like, please. So, but um, we're gonna get there literally right on the dot. I'm very excited. I'm calling my car right now. I'm drinking. <laughs> A mom water. But I'm so excited. Is this purse weird now that I'm like thinking about it? Is this weird? I mean, it's very like beachy. I don't have a better option. All right, see you guys. I'm at Cassie's right now and guys, she's showing me her apartment. This is where she keeps her, she calls them clickers. clickers. Her remotes. Is this like for that? Yeah. This, this is, is genius. Like it's genius. I love it. Working girl, party 
at night, glam by, glam by day, party by night. Pizza, pizza. I'm back now. It was so, so much fun. It was star studded, you guys. Like, what a time. And then we went to Blaker Street Pizza and got a slice and just had the best night. I like, I want to like tell you guys everyone I saw. I couldn't believe it. Like, Patrick Mahomes was there because Brittany Mahomes is in the issue this year. So that was crazy. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, obviously, everyone that's in the issue was there. Martha Stewart was there, obviously. And then, oh, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen, like, it was crazy, man. So now I'm gonna get comfortable. This is just my least favorite part of the night when I do get my hair and makeup done because now I have to take this out. Like a part of me is like, oh, can I just sleep in it? Cause this would be so cute for the Morgan Wallen concert tonight, but it's not in the cards. It hurts so bad. Like I don't want to take it out, but lovely night. Very, very grateful for nights like tonight where I get to do stuff like that and be in the same room as so many cool people. So I love you guys, but this is not over. I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning. I'm up in Adam here with Cassidy. She's doing a little worky on the phone. Um, we are going on Kelly's mental health walk that she organized with Good Old Girls Club. I think there's a lot of girlies doing this walk. We're supposed to meet at 745 on the West Side Highway, and then we walk all the way down to Tribeca and end at Maman, and it's coffee and journaling. And yes, we were up a little late last night, but it just sounded so lovely. So me, Cassidy, and Seb are going. Because we like mental health and the girlies. Yes. You know May's mental health one? Yeah, that's exciting. I didn't know that, and that's amazing. So, let's go. today um i got back the walk was so nice i'm already almost at 10,000 steps for the day which is amazing i'm putting on these sam edelman shoes they're so cute and yeah the walk was lovely then we ended at maman like i said and kelly just did a great little speech and it's just so cool to see the community that she's grown and um she presented some really great journal prompts um and then i walked back took a shower and now we're gonna go to dry bar because we have a fun weekend ahead. Got the Morgan Wallen concert tonight. I'm just wearing this little white dress, sandals, sweater. I might also stop by the Anthropology's doing like a pop-up in Union Square area. And they invited me to come pop by. I don't really know what that means, but I'm gonna go check it out. They're doing a little fruit stand in honor of the summer, I think. And I'm like, what else do I need? Oh. Nikes, that would be good. Park, one of my other favorite brands is having a pop-up today. There's just lots of pop-ups. And then we have Morgan Wallen tonight. So like I said, living many lives today, just all different things. I'm definitely tired. Might need real caffeine today. Or, okay, no, these sunglasses are way too, like, not the vibe for this outfit. Or I need a nap. I just don't really take naps. I don't take naps. <laughs> but I might need to figure out how to, I feel like even resting your eyes, ooh, these are so salty from the ocean. I feel like even um, just resting your eyes is good. This will do. This will do. Stopped by the park pop-up, met up with this cutie. He just got a haircut, he looks so nice. We're getting some lunch at this really lovely restaurant. It's like a little corner restaurant in Soho, or Nolita, which I love, so. This looks amazing, oh my God. King. Hailing a cab for me. <laughs> Thank you. We are back now and we are in need of some real caffeine. Whenever I want real caffeine for some reason, I go for a Coca Cola instead of like coffee. I don't know, it does make me as jittery. I don't know. Let me know if you guys feel the same. 
cheers. I do regular because I don't drink Coke a lot. So like I'm not gonna get like a Diet Coke. And I also don't like the taste of Diet Coke. I'm so sorry. I know I'm offending like a thousand of you. So like, so when I drink it, I'm just like, I want like the good old original. But I feel like once you get used to Diet Coke, you're like, that's what I want. Anyways, I've lived so many lives today. And now I'm going to change again and get ready for Morgan Wallen. I have like an hour, so I'm gonna chill. But I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Okay, literally have to run out the door, but here is the fit. I'm going with this tee I bought on Amazon and I cropped it, all the jewels. Shorts are from Stodd and the Wrangler Club. Boots are shoots, shuts. Um, Katie's picking me up, I gotta go. I'm bringing some mom waters for the ride. And I'm so excited, I got my clear bag because it's at MetLife Set Stadium. So we gotta do that. I think we're good to go. Katie said I brought us a snack, it's healthy. This is iconic. I mean, it's, it's a so huge bag too. I was like, oh my God, I love. Like, it's amazing. And wait, show them the earrings you're wearing right now. Earrings? Finley. She's, she's wearing the Finley earrings. It's so nice of you. They're so comfy in my ears. They're not heavy. They're not heavy, but they are like that statement look, yeah, which I like. I love. We've made it. Saturday and last night was so fun. Last night we let the liquor talk. Now it's Saturday and we're going to do a workout. This um, brand called Rhone, R-H-O-N-E, they just launched women's, which is exciting because actually my brother and my dad both love the brand and like whenever it's a holiday, we like, me and my mom will get my brother's stuff from Rhone. My dad likes Rhone now and they just launched women's. So it's a little women's workout line and this is so soft and comfortable. And Megan Rube from Sculpt Society, which you guys know I love, is hosting a workout with them. So I was like, obviously I'm gonna be there. I'm drinking an element. This is their new sparkling water. Like, is this not more on brand? Like, it couldn't be more on brand. I just really need some lip balm. It's gonna be a great day. Happy Saturday. I'm always talking to you guys right here, but going to a themed party on a boat that one of our good friends from college organized. I'm so excited. The theme is it's giving linen and he like organized, I think it's a yacht. I don't know, maybe not, but it seems like a really nice big boat we all bought tickets for. And there's like DJs, Chick-fil-A catering, and the theme is linen. Everyone's wearing linen. I hope not everyone's wearing all white linen. I mean, probably most people are, but this is my outfit. I literally just put it together. I was like, I had no idea what I was wearing till just now. Linen pants, I just steamed them and they're already wrinkling, but um, the first time they're getting worn this summer, I guess it's summer now, Ryan's here. Abercrombie top is Cezanne, bag is Pollen. Earrings are the Montauk earrings from my collection. Danielle Bengal. Ryan's here. Oh. Did she give you my packages? Oh my God, thanks. <laughs> Ryan looks fabulous. Brought up my boxes. So oh, those are waters, yeah. You look so nice. Thanks. Ryan said, is your top linen? My pants are linen. I think this is linen. What would you call this? Okay guys, I was actually really wanting to wear this shirt, but I could not find it. And then when Ryan was like, is that shirt linen? I was like, <sighs> and then I found this shirt. It's from the brand store, the label. Um, but now I'm like, this is random. So we're gonna switch bags to my white bag. Um, but yeah, it's just a party we all paid tickets for. I think he said there's like five DJs. So I'm like, how big is this boat? How many people are there? But this is such a fun like kickoff to 
you know, summer in the city. It's just been a good, fun weekend here in New York. Um, so I'm excited. It's supposed to be a sunset cruise. It's, crow it's cloudy, so not thrilled about that. But we'll make do. So here's the final look.